You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Uh, today I have a familiar face, somebody that helps out in Brockton all the time, um, Officer Rosie Vasquez Brown. I got all of it. You did. Okay. And usually we talk to you around the holiday time with the Project Guardian Angels, with all the good that you do in the community to help people in need and you know, make sure everybody has a gift. But we're summer, we're August. We're talking about basketball, police in the streets, second annual. Tell us about it. Well, um, we came up with this idea, um, myself and Ollie Spears, last year to do something, again, to help people in the community do things for the community. And we came up with the annual um, Police on the Street Citywide Basketball Tournament for the kids as well as families. So what this is, is it's a day of good old fashioned um, fun filled with not only do the kids get to compete with each other, but the winning team also gets to play the police officers. There's also free raffle tickets, there's a lot of food, hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken, pasta salad, and we can go on and on and on. Mm -hmm. And um, I would say um, popcorn, cotton candy, fried dough. It's almost like a, kind of like a fair type of thing, but at the same time, like an old school cookout. And it doesn't cost anything. And the best part of it is that every single thing is absolutely free. The only thing that's not free. The only thing. Is the opportunity mm -hmm. to dunk one of my favorite people, <laughs> Detective Bell. Detective Bell. Okay, you got to do a donation for that. $5 yes. for three balls to get a shot at. Well, for the kids, it's free. Okay. For the adults, okay. there's a requirement, which is $5 donation, which is just goes towards next year's event. Right. To kind of get a head start on it. And um, it took us a little while, like a year, to convince Detective Bell to uh, volunteer to go in the dunk tank. And this year he decided he was going to do it, and we are so looking forward to it. Well, we won't tell him, even though we're on television, mm -hmm. that we can record it and, and do it in slow motion. Oh, yeah. awesome. We, we have replay now for all of our sporting events for basketball <laughs> and football and soccer, so we can slow it down, speed like it up, that. do it backwards. <laughs> it, it'll be fun. Dunk tanks are great. I always say put all the politicians in the dunk tank. Oh, that would be great. Okay. That's, um, that would be I've even been better. dying for years and years and years. Someday I'm going to pull this off is to do a roast. Well, you like they what? do for Southie at, at St. Patrick's Day. We got to do a roast. We get some good ro roasters. Okay. Tim Cruz is great at poking <laughs> fun at people. Tom Monahan too. You know what? I think it's a good idea for next year's event. How's there that? You go. Maybe we can do something like that. Maybe. But you got everybody involved in this. The, mm -hmm. the city's involved, the mayor's office is involved, the police department. Um, looking in Mary Waldron's Just Checking In Foundation, the fraternities, what is Alpha it, Psi, Iota, Omega? Yes, Honestly. Alpha Kappa ladies who, okay. um, they, they, their mission is to work with kids. Mm -hmm. And on this day, what they're going to do is they're going to hand out uh, free backpacks with supplies for the school. Nice. Which nice. would be good for the kids. Uh, Columbia Gas is always a good community partner. They help people out. And it's at East Middle School. Back in my day, it was in junior high. To me, it's still East Junior High, but we'll right. say middle school. The outdoor courts that are out there. And a lot of room, plenty of parking. Plenty. Not, not, a, not a problem. Um, and it's a, it, that's a very well-used basketball court, by the way. There are yeah. some in the city that aren't as used, but that one is. And I understand you had a generous sponsor that gave a hundred, donated a hundred basketballs for this event? Yes, we had the Enterprise Club that uh, donated a hundred basketballs, which is absolutely awesome. We're trying to make sure that every child leaves, um, not only with a basketball or any kind of ball, because I feel that not all kids like to play basketball, Sure. but we do want them to leave with a ball. To me, um, to some people, I would say a ball is a ball. Yeah. To me, a ball is a communication tool that we use to kind of be able to communicate with kids. Mm -hmm. This basketball, this event, I should say, to me, it's something that is a, you know, a bridge between the police department, the police officers with our community as well as our children. And I believe in it's like the three C's, which is community, commitment, communication, and connections. It's everyone connecting in the community, mm -hmm. businesses, people, volunteers, et cetera, and just working together to just make this a better town, city, you know, a better place. The nice thing is 
The police department in Brockton has always connected with the community. We, we have a great yeah. police department. We have a great fire department. I was just watching on TV. Boston now is doing something brand new. Mm -hmm. They have an ice cream truck. Okay, that's, that's very I interesting. Yes, I thought that I was see. a cool story the other day. And, uh, you know, it, it, it makes people have a good relationship. I mean, who doesn't mm -hmm. want an ice cream? Right. Oh yeah. Okay. Who so doesn't? who knows? Maybe we can pull that off. But all the all all the you said all the youth receive free raffle tickets, um, and the prizes are. Well, for the prizes, yeah. we have wonderful prizes. Okay, we have uh, raffle tickets. Will be it includes Beats by Dre. We have at least at least six to seven of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, movie tickets. We have. Um, uh, gift cards to uh, a karate school. We have gift cards to for the movies, for haircuts, and et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But we also have things for the parents, not just the kids, because again, we want to include the parents in this. So you have a clinic. The clinic is 11 to 12:30. The the actual tournament is a two. Um, how about registration and information? Do people call ahead of time? Do they show up? Combination of both. And what are the phone numbers or websites? Combination of both. The website is you can contact Nicole Anderson, Office of Nicole Anderson at BrockdenPoliceDepartment.com if you want to sign your child up. Anyone under 18, their parents either have to be there um, to sign them up. And, okay. you know, we want to make sure that they have permission to be there. Okay, and there's a phone number on here, yes. the 508 Eight nine seven five one eight nine. Yes, and, and again, that's Officer Nicole Anderson, who's in charge of um, signing the kids up. So, I remember last year a little bit, where mm -hmm. where 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 we may be dusting off a former staff member to come help us as well. I won't say who it is <laughs> yet till I confirm it. But um, we love sports. This is sports. This is police. This is community. It's it's everything all wrapped into one. Yes, and I feel it's very important to, for people to get to know us as well as we get to know them. I think it's very important for them to get to know that we as police officers, we're in this community, our community, not just your community, our community, and we live in this community, we work in this community, and we're here to protect you, but we also want you to know that um, we are human beings, and w this is my city. I was brought up here from since I was eight years old. So this is my city as well as yours. So it's our city. Well, we thank you for doing what you're doing. We're glad to help promote it. And we'll be there and get some video. But you're going to go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Everyone has to go. Thanks, Rosie. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.